good afternoon. Is it me time? Yeah, right. Me time to say this. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever country you're in, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to do the same little message that Justin does in the Charlie Ward shows. Right, the granddaughter made me do it. Oh, what's that flying at me? What did you see? It just flew at me. Oh, anyway, I have to focus, Baba Bertha. This is not about me. This is about you watching the program, subscribe, shares, and like, do this. She said, you have to do this. I haven't got a clue why. Don't do that. Do this. All right, that looks a, bit, a little bit rude to me. I'm very, very sorry. But she said that she gets the subscribers, then she could start to stream. I don't know what that means either. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this program. Well, I hope you do. Sometimes she puts her heart and soul and everything else into it. As she said, she won't even let me go and have me bath. I want to go and have me bath. So please watch the program and then do this. Subscribe and share and come on to Moving On TV. There it is down below. I can't see it, but you can see it. Oh, I don't get this anymore. I don't understand what's going on. And where we go one, we go all. I, I don't know what she's talking about. And have a nice, have an, have a nice day. Yeah, you see, I don't know what we're talking about. And please watch me programs. I better go. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome to the awakening. Today I think is number 75, the awakening number 75. <clears throat> so I've been doing this 76 days and um, I remember when I first started it, for some reason it, it, it feels like um, things are getting harder rather than easier in some ways. Um, I don't know about you. But sometimes, I hope you like my flower garland, <laughs> my pink hat. Sometimes I feel like things are getting to me more now than they were when this first started. I never expected to go on as long as it has. The madness and the lies, you know, when you see someone put a message on Facebook about them getting a fine, for a hundred pounds because they won't wear a mask and you think just tell them you know it's not mandatory nothing's mandatory it's just what they're saying it's time for you to wake up and understand that these are not the laws that God made the laws that are made for your own good they're made by these pedo sick lunatic system and you can just say no <laughs> You know, just tell them to F off, whatever. But um, it's very hard to go on social media. And so what I'm trying to do to lighten the load is I'm doing comedy and I'm doing my best to move on with moving on TV to bring on sponsors so that we can get the truth out there to you about what's really going on if you don't already know it. And to give you a platform Instead of going on there and getting upset, come on Moving On TV and talk about your feelings. Do your own program, get your support that way, or live your dream. Whatever that dream is, instead of going on and on about the problem, create a solution for lots of other people, for yourself and lots of people. That's what I've always wanted Moving On TV to be. Solution-based, not problem-based. And uh, today I want to talk about depression because I suffer a lot from depression and the depression I have comes from intense grief and loneliness and it really gets to me when the niece, one of the nieces I haven't seen for four years doesn't connect to me except to say to me, don't tag me. You know, that's it, don't tag me. I don't really want to hear anything, I don't care. Well, if they cared, then they'd keep in touch properly, they'd WhatsApp, they'd phone, you know, like proper family, proper family. Do any of you have a loving family? Do any of you have people that actually care about you, really care about you, like family? Because I don't, not family. And I get very depressed when that happens. You know, it's quite easy for me to go 
really down quite quickly when that happens. And the loneliness and I come to the allotment. I think I'll do an awakening, but how am I going to help you? Well, I suppose the only way to help is to say, you've got to feel it. When I was in the therapeutic community, I sat on the ground for six months and cried for six months about the injustice of life and everything that I was feeling at the time. Six months of crying and it was probably, no, it wasn't six months, but it was a long time. And I did my work in there and I felt my feelings. I don't feel there's many people I can trust. I think I could probably count them on one, two, maybe three, four, that I know are in my life that are going to be here for me no matter what. And that's really sad. People show their true colours sometimes when there's real things like the lockdown or you really need them like you're in a wheelchair. You don't rely on people anymore, people, places and things, because that's not going to help you if you get depressed. Now, depression is something that you can't control. It comes on you just like that, boom. And as I said, for me, it's triggers. And we went down to check out the community centre where we were rehearsing Encounters, the musical, and they're not opening. And that, I don't know how we're going to move on with Encounters, because that was such a brilliant place. And it was, they were so giving us such great deals, and you can't get those anywhere else. And if places are not opening to rehearse, where are we going to rehearse? And I, I can't even think about the future. I can't even think about just today, one day at a time, because at the moment I feel gutted. I feel empty and lonely and sad. And, and I just don't know what's coming. I don't know what's going to happen to us. You know, they talk about the comedian who's got a broken heart. Well, that's me. I'm the entertainer with the broken heart. I really could have done with my job now, which, of course, they took away from me. Well, uh, the light beings took it because there's no way I could have survived in that environment of lies and destroying people's lives. I couldn't have done it with everything that I know. And for days now, I've been feeling my feelings, trying to just be okay. And it's very hard as a human on this planet when you don't have a tribe to connect to. I'm always inviting people to come here to meditate, to relax. I don't give a shit about hugs. You can all have hugs. I don't buy into any of it, none of it, not a bit because as I said to you this is covering up the sex trafficking and the pedophilia that's the war that is the war the war is against sex trafficking children and pedophilia and all the sickness that something created in this world that I didn't realize how cruel it was until I started studying and and even me knowing what I know the depression sometimes is enormous because we're tribal and that's why I wanted a commune before this started. I don't particularly want to be with people, I don't want to be with people all the time, obviously, but I just like to see a friend once a week, if there is such a thing as a friend. I'd like to see them once a week. It would be nice to see them once a week. But people that are red-pilled and on the vibration that I'm on, I don't want anyone near me that doesn't understand what's really going on. I don't want them near me. I don't have the energy to explain it to them. If they haven't seen the deterioration of this world and the system in the last ten, five to ten years, well, I have, and I know exactly what's wrong with the world. And if they think it's about a non-existent virus or a flu bug basically, not a pandemic. If they don't know that by now, then I don't want them anywhere near me because they're that lot and we're at war. But if you are, and I say this every day, if you are red-pilled and you're awake, please come and visit, be part of Moving On TV, grow with us. We've just taken on another sponsor. 
a wonderful guy, and I will be putting this advert on this one. Paul Boggy Brighton, Sifu Boggy. He's doing a cup of tea and he's offering you 20% discount. If you join this course and you subscribe to move uh, by subscribing to Moving On TV, you get 20% off his course, which is wonderful. And he's done a beautiful advert and that's going to go on. And you'll also be entered into draw. And you're going to be, you know, there's lots of stuff you're going to be offered. You just need to follow the programs. I'm doing everything I can to grow Moving On TV. That's my legacy because I don't have kids. I don't have grandkids. I don't have a family. I don't have anyone to leave Moving On TV to. I don't trust anyone with my work yet. Because my work is, it's, it's, it's pure. It's chemical free, it's environmentally friendly, it's the love of humanity, it, it's pure, it's not touched and it will not be touched by that lot. And so when I die, I have to know that someone, whoever takes over moving on TV, is going to be pure like that, is going to be a good person, is going to tell the truth and never ever go near the chemicals or anything that's harming human or the environment or lying like the mainstream. No one buys me ever. I'm not for sale for anyone ever. I'm my own person and I do whatever I want and I'm inviting you on to be that with me because one day we'll be on the box. I'm going to keep working at it and working at it till we're on that box. As long as I've got breath in my body, I will keep going with moving on TV now and moving on theatre with encounters. But as I say, when I'm gone, I don't have anyone to give encounters to, moving on theatre to, apart from my husband, obviously. If he goes before me, then I don't trust anyone with my work yet. No one. They've got to be exactly like me. They've, and the people that are joining are. But they have their own dreams. This is not their dream yet. When someone comes on and they have a similar dream and we partner, no one will ever sit on a board and sell out moving on TV or moving on theatre to a system that enslaves and destroys and kills. I'm hoping they're all going to be gone by then. I'm hoping that that system will be gone by the time I leave the planet. But I don't know. People say, oh, watch Gisara and Asara. I know what that is. Right. Give me, give me the funds to run the humanitarian, my humanitarian projects then. Give me the funds to earn a living. Give me a funds to pay other people to work. I don't see that. All I see is me jumping through hoops continuously for Her Majesty paying tax to that piece of shit, the heroin cocaine addict, whatever he, he or she is. You know, Alice Down the Rabbit Hole put out this huge amount of names of all the celebrities that are actually e either executed, waiting to be executed, or, or in prison, in house arrests. All of them. And wouldn't that be amazing? Because then... They're all gone and they've paid for what they've done to children and innocents. I want them dead. I'm not a grey person when it comes to what they've done to children. Those six Satanist lunatics need to be gone. And I hope to God they are. I've heard it from a few sources that Madonna and Beyonce and Celine Dion and those shitty pieces of crap. Priests and priestesses and... With anyone who was involved with Pizzagate, I've heard that they're all gone, apart from Ghislaine, who is now in custody because they need her. They don't need that lot. They're useless. They're dead meat. They're dead, dead, dead wood. And they blocked people like me from performing everywhere. No one would come to see me. No one, even my in-laws, they, they would go and watch celebrities that are abusing children in the rains list. Yeah, your EastEnders stars in the rains list. That's all they wanted to go and see in the West End. Not me. Not my work. I never got any support whatsoever. 
My friends came in the beginning and then that was it. Anyway, I'm not doing this to have a whinge. I'm doing it because I'm telling you this is why I do The Awakening. This is why I do Moving on TV because you're the only way I can connect to the public. I have no one. All I have is a husband and two cats, that's it. And there's so much of being together with one person before you blow. It's not healthy and it's not right. And so depression for me is intense loneliness. It's getting a message from a niece who I haven't seen for four years since my father died, who actually got my inheritance, getting a message to say, don't tag me when there's absolutely no contact whatsoever, nothing with any of them, my three nieces, who are like my children. That's loyalty, isn't it? Because I'm different and I don't exactly know why they are the way they are. But they were brought up in Israel. Say no more. And Trump is leaving Israel to last. I can't wait. They'll probably hand me my father's home on a platter. But you know, I don't go around all day feeling these, this grief and depression. I do the work for you guys. I try to make you laugh. I use comedy. I do my best every single day. And I'm there for you. And, and quite honestly, I, I, I haven't really seen that from anyone. Except the occasional person. Every couple of, maybe once a month, I've seen someone through this lockdown. And you know who you are. You're not what you're projecting. A lot of people are so fake. And I see right through them. That's why they don't want me around. Because they know I can see right into their souls. I see into their souls. Anyway. Depression. Depression, guys, means to depress down. To push down anger and fear. So if you sit with depression, you... If you're lucky, your anger will come up, your intense rage at the world, your intense frustrations, your intense helplessness, and then you come out of depression. It's like Abraham Hicks says, there's a scale, isn't there, of emotions. So it, it's really, as I said, we're tribal. You know, I wish I was... Grow, I had grown up, well I did grow up in, in more like commune kind of places where, you know, when my, fa when my mother died, my, everyone came in and fed dad and took care of him. That's not going to happen here. No one gives a shit. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Anyway, so the only thing I can tell you to do today is to feel your feelings, have an opportunity to get the rage out of you. Please don't tell me about Gisara and Nisara. I'll believe it when I see it. Let's put it that way. I could do with humanitarian grants now because I work day and night and no one gives me money to support me. Where are these grants, these humanitarian grants? I have asked, but no one seems to be able to get them back to me. So if you know any grants I can get so I can pay my actors or I can get paid and, <laughs> and actually do the work I'm doing or bring on another editor to help me. And yes, I do barter. I barter because I love bartering, but the rent does need to be paid as well. You have to understand that. You can't always work for free. Anyway, I love you lots and I hope this took you a little bit into the light as well because... It makes you feel that you're not the only one that's feeling low and depressed. You're not the only one and you just have to find your dream. And join me on Moving On TV and we'll do it together. Take care. Hand it, up. Hand it over today to spirits. Say, the future is in your hands, not mine. The sky is beautiful today, all clear and blue with little puffy clouds. No chemtrails. There you go, there's some good news. And the garden is growing. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. The little seeds that we've planted. Sorry. There they are. They're starting to grow, guys. Starting to grow. So come to the allotment. Come for a hug. Don't be lonely. Don't be depressed. If that's the only thing I can give you today with the awakening.
And don't forget, you get 20% off Sifu Bogies, a cup of tea, if you subscribe to Moving On TV. So that's our second sponsor. Really excited. Uh, tarot reading, 25% off tarot reading for your first reading. And you can win a tarot reading, life coaching or hypnotherapy session if you subscribe to Moving On TV. Take care. Love you lots. Bye. The great activist and builder, horticultural expert, musical writer, commentator, avant garde. Can you see me? Yeah. Oh, truly, she's never stopped. Building, composing, writing. That's good for depression. <laughs> this truly is an honor and a privilege to be able to witness a remarkable event. Lauren with a hammer. Truly a hero of the working classes. We've never seen such a And here are her horticultural efforts. Let's go around. I think, anyway. There you go. There's some beetroots. Just to think she had no experience and she planted these and this is what's happened so far. Marvellous. First you throw her, move over. And here's something else, we don't know what, but there you go. Monty Dom, you've met your match. There you go. How about that then? Oh, if only I had a a, a a slither of her talent and genius, but I don't. And with that, I'll leave you here. Moving on TV. Remember to su subscribe to Moving On TV. Thank you. Goodbye.